The Tyne Theatre and Opera House was built in 1867 and was able to present extraordinary things on the stage. The thing that we're going to look at today is the grave trap. This gets its name from its use in the grave scene in Hamlet. It's roughly the size of a coffin and it allows a person to rise up or sink down into the fiery Hades. In 1877, Gilbert and Sullivan produced their operetta, The Sorcerer. It was first performed at the Opera Comique in London and it ran for 178 performances. In the final sequence, The Sorcerer descends to Arimanes or hell using the grave trap. Let me show you what I mean. Must die, which shall it be? Reply, die, go, go out the cause of all of ending. Thy love till thou to this degree unbending. by mechanical advantage and is a ratio of six to one, which makes it easier for the operator to work the machinery. Reply. We can counterbalance the weight of the actor by adding or taking away weights. However, it wasn't just a solo effort, it required teamwork. There was one person on the winch winding the platform up and down, but there were also two other people, one either side, opening the floor to allow the platform to rise up. The grave trap is operated with the floor closed. Underneath the stage, the operators pull back the two paddles, one either side, a kind of cam lock, which allows these two pieces of floor to drop down. The ropes will be pulled to actually open the floor itself, and then the actor would step onto the trap, just a few inches below the stage, and it would start to descend by winding the winch underneath the stage using the six to one ratio for the mechanical advantage. Leave me to my despair. And the weight of the actor would be counterbalanced. The weights rise up towards the stage as the actor descends down amid fire and smoke into Hades. It's almost effortless. Most of the work is simply being done by the counterweights. Mm -hmm. 